the 411, hon. What's the 411? I got it going on. Hey, yo, I got it going on, hon. Hey, yo, what's the 411, hon? What's the 411? I got it going on. Hey, yo, I got it going on. situation right here that was going on up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yes, this incident took place at the 2501 Brighton Road Exxon Mobil gas station. Yes, this is where these young men attacked these two young ladies, okay? And uh, this situation could have really just been handled really professionally had the men end up uh, doing what they were supposed to be doing on the customer service side. So let's go ahead and break down what actually took place, okay? So, um... There was a situation that took place at the Exxon Mobil gas mm -hmm. station, mm -hmm. and pretty much uh, the ladies had to get some gas or whatever. They went and put 17 on the pump. They noticed that as they started pumping the gas that the pump was malfunctioning. We already know that some of these Exxon Mobil gas stations be a little bit busted down, broken, or whatever, because they be having a little duct tape, electrical tape, and stuff around there. We already know. So, you know, it's very believable that the pump was a little bit towed down and busted and broken or whatever. But, you know, the situation went all the way left whenever they went into the store and began to... Um, you know, ask for, you know, a refund on their money or whatever, okay? That's when the men began to uh, beat them up or cuss them out or whatever and um, tell them that they did not pay. Well, we already know whenever you're dealing with the... Um, with the Exxon Mobil gas station, you got the, you know what I'm saying, the Arabs up in there. You got to pay before you get any type of services, okay? Let's just go ahead and put that out there right there, okay? So, the fact that he's talking about that she didn't pay, that pump probably was not going to turn on unless some type of credit exchange had been, you know, transactioning. So, you know, that, that was that right there. They end up cussing them out, kicking them out the store, and then as you can see, that's when the man end up attacking 
the lady from behind, okay? Now, I don't give a dang on how, you know, but she was or whatever. That's still a woman or whatever. And you should not be attacking your customers or whatnot. Let me just go ahead and say that right there. And I'm really trying to figure out where was the men in the neighborhood. All I saw was women on the scene, okay? And why won't somebody, you know what I'm saying, busting up, you know what I'm saying, them mugs upside the head or something like that right there. I'm like, where was the men? It was not one guy at the gas station walking by or something or whatever. For real, for real. But, you know, that's neither here nor there, you know. I'm glad that somebody got it on footage. I really wish there was more action being taken to defuse the situation than this whole stand up and film, you know, so we can get the, you know, viral, you know, stuff going on. You know, it helps out, you know, but, you know, it also help out, you know, if them ladies wouldn't have been so brutally attacked, you know, and to that long of extent of a time, okay, you know, so I understand, thank you for the footage, though, you know, because, you know, you helps out my car TV when it comes to me reporting this stuff or whatever, but, you know, I think that we need to do a better job of, you know, being a more action, you know what I'm saying, instead of, you know, whipping it out, you know, trying to be the first one to hit upload or whatever, you know, but people do what they can in that situation, I'm pretty sure somebody did call the cops, you know, but the men, they were, um, charged with pretty much misdemeanor assaults or whatever and um there was nothing really done uh the police actually issued a statement where they were saying that um you know they investigate all violence seriously and the video shows the assault on these women's um on these women is particularly disturbing as multiple men held them down and women being punched repeatedly. So I don't understand why women being abused uh, is a misdemeanor. Could it be because they're black women or whatever? Could it be that? Because that's what I'm kind of gathering from the situation. Because I'm pretty sure if Becky or Amy or somebody was getting attacked like that right there, them people would be in the electric chair, you know, by tomorrow about 9 p.m., okay? Let's just go ahead and say that right there. So I'm just really trying to figure out why... The charges and things were so low on these men, okay? And why they pretty much have been released from the situation, okay? So let's go ahead. You know, my boy Chris, you know, over at Channel 4 News, he went over there. And there's actually some protests and things going on with the situation. So let's go ahead and get up into it, okay? After that video surfaced showing two women being assaulted here at this Exxon gas station at the corner of Brighton Road and Marshall Avenue, these people showing up in solidarity with all women say something needs to be done. It being justice, the gas station was closed this morning. Get out of here! And this is what sparked it all. A video police say shows women being assaulted at a gas station after one woman told the people working there that a pump malfunctioned and she requested a refund, but the store owners refused. One bystander video shows a woman repeatedly being hit in the back of the head and another dragged on the pavement. They should have called the police. You don't put your hands on no woman. I don't care what she says. Every person standing out here male and female came from the womb of a woman and we need to be respected in our communities right the demonstrators say simple assault charges brought against the store owners and an employee involved are not enough the DA's office told pittsburgh's action news 4 in an email they are talking with the city about what charges are appropriate and who should be charged at pittsburgh's marshall shadlin neighborhood chris lovingood pittsburgh Child, I'm, I'm just saying this right here I feel like that, you know, some drastic really needed to be done. I really wish somebody would have put their car in drive and go ahead and throttle that gas pedal. Let's go ahead and put it out there right there, okay? Because why something needed to be happening, you know. While they was in an isolated situation, somebody should have got them in and did something. Hit them with a door or something like that right there. I don't know, but I just feel like that. More could have been done on the scene, but if there was no men in the situation, the women that was there, y'all did a great job by, you know, capturing it on footage and making sure no other females was getting, you know, attacked in that manner. And, you know, I'm glad they actually closed the Exxon Mobil gas station. Nobody needs to be up there. They need to protest and boycott that whole damn thing, and y'all needs to not be in no more kind of damn business, okay? Let's just go on and say that right there, okay? Exxon Mobil did issue a statement. They said, you know, Exxon Mobil does not tolerate any form of discrimination or harassment by any company representative, ExxonMobil 
uh, global policies promote diversity and inclusion and prohibit any form of discrimination or harassment in any company, workplace, or anywhere around the world. ExxonMobil does not own or operate any retail fuel uh, stations in the U.S., um, but we are aware of the situation and these um, matters are very uh, taken very seriously, okay? Exxon Mobil stations are supplied by authorities, uh, authorized independent branded wholesalers who either operate the station directly or have a contractual relationship with an independent owner or operator. Okay, so, you know, that's that right there. You know, it's just, you know, these franchise companies, they really can't do anything because it's really their property. It's their, their stuff. Unless, like I say, it's, they're going through another party or whatever. So, Exxon Mobil as a corporation can't do anything. But, you know, what you can do to these establishments individually is you can boycott them, which is what the people is doing, okay? So, we got another report from my girl over at Channel 4 News. Her name is Chandy, and she is doing a damn thing. So, y'all go ahead and check out what she's talking about. Okay? Hours ago, but they say they'll continue to to fight. They want this gas station shut down, especially since the three men were charged with misdemeanors. Chants from demonstrators. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! Over what happened at this Exxon gas station on Brighton Road in the city's Marshall Shadeland neighborhood last week. This video has gone viral of several men beating two women. Police say a dispute started after a pump malfunction and one of the women asked for a refund. Tears start coming to my eyes and I came down here. I got in my vehicle and I came down here. Now we've learned the men are being charged with simple assault, a misdemeanor. Protesters wanted Allegheny County District Attorney Stephen Zapala to charge the men with aggravated assault. We never get justice and this is again, you give a slap on the hand of simple assault and bluntly you have footage and evidence is there and you get simple assault. No arrest, nothing. Why are you crying right now? Um, I think that people in Pittsburgh who are not white are probably victims every day and only certain things get caught on camera. The DA's office said okay. they reviewed the video and decided not okay. to upgrade simple assault charges against Scott Hill, Belkar Singh, and Sukhjinder Sadra to aggravated assault, which is a felony. Protesters say they refuse to support the business. I spend $75 at least once or twice a week. This is in close proximity to my home. Even if they open up, I will not spend money here no more. Because it is not okay for anyone of any culture to put hands on any woman. Now some of the protesters say that they'll be back here at the gas station tomorrow. Reporting live in the Marshall Shadeland neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Chandy Chapman. That was a nice little report you did right there, Chandy and Chris. Y'all did a dang on good job. Uh, I'm glad y'all were shutting it down. And it's amazing that we spend a lot of money with these uh, establishments in our neighborhoods and things. And they just really don't respect us and the dollar. And, you know, just us as a people in general. But yet we bring them so much motherfucking money, okay? So, um, you know... Like I said, I don't know. Like I don't know the reason why they stopped, so I'm not here to say because it's dealing with a gas situation. You ain't got time to be trying to be, you know, black on, black on, you know what I'm saying? When you about to put put out of gas, okay, you're going to be walking or some shit like that, you know, because we ain't on every corner, okay? But, you know, there is the Exxon Mobile, a BP, why, why, you know, Sheets or whatever. They on every damn corner. Sitco, Tesco. So... Like I say, you know, I can't sit, even sit there and put it like that, but I do think we need, to, we need to be putting out some more, you know, black-owned gas stations in our own neighborhoods and things like that. And, you know, maybe we wouldn't be going through these types of situations. You know, nail salons, you know, grocery stores, convenience stores and stuff, you know. But we can't be living out the barter system and, you know, trying to get the hookup and everything. And, you know, we can't be sitting here charging, you know, way over the top prices as well, too. You know, business owners, you know what I'm saying? We got to be feasible and things. Uh, but um, this situation right here, I hope they do get it upgraded to aggravated assault because why? That's what it exactly needs to be because everything about them, them men was angry as hell. I'm not, not going to even try to pronounce they damn name or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But they damn, they asses was angry as hell. 
You know what I'm saying? And um, it just is what it is. Um, Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, I just wanted to go ahead and give my little report on this situation because I thought it was just really quite interesting. And uh, uh, I'll be back with another video pretty soon. I right? just know that I love you all. Love you all. Uh, hit the motherfucking subscribe button if you have not. And I will talk to you all later. Bye. <laughs>